We have some massive updates to talk for Pepe coin, the crypto right now. So I want to do some price analysis for this one. Where can the price of Pepe go in 2024, 2025? What are some catalysts we need to look out for? And literally what's happening in the crypto market right now? Because what is happening is there is a lot of volatility. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more in this special Pepe update. So if you guys enjoy Pepe videos and you enjoy staying up to date with the latest meme coins, subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and guys let's get straight into this one so if you have a look at the crypto price for pepe you can see right here in the last few days we have encountered some turbulence in the crypto market so we are hitting some volatile patches a little bit of turbulence as we fly through this crypto market right now having said that though from around you know the 17th of april onwards we have been experiencing some very nice bullish momentum for the pepe coin price just recently though what has been happening in the crypto market has been flowing into pepe reducing the price of this cryptocurrency so if you actually switch over to bitcoin today you can see bitcoin continues to encounter resistance uh, at this zone so we are you know sitting at this mountain peak range in the crypto market you can see it right here it's this seventy thousand dollar level which bitcoin is really starting to struggle to break so you can actually see right here you know the last few weeks we got up to this level which was around seventy three thousand dollars got hit with more volatility bottomed out and then pushed back up again back to the seventy thousand dollar level retraced pushed back up again to seventy thousand dollars again and then retraced and we have struggled to kind of recapture this $70,000 level and this is flowing into Pepe right now so when this volatility does hit the Bitcoin price it will flow straight into the altcoins unless an altcoin is doing something you know amazingly bullish in the crypto market generally speaking so Bitcoin is like the shining light in the crypto market and one thing you have to you know as a macro factor and this is what's kind of you know rattling the stock market it's rattling the crypto market to some degree out there you know you can see right here this macro mover in the crypto market it is the inflation data it's not going away and it's making it harder for central banks around the world so central banks again they're saying that you know inflation is sticky they're not hitting their goals and potentially what needs to happen is interest rates may need to go up over the long term so higher for longer that is one of the big narratives we're hearing out of the mainstream news and again this does trickle down to pepe to some degree so when it hits bitcoin and then it flows into pepe that volatility does come down to the riskier meme coins right now so having said that if we do analyze the price chart for pepe we have been holding you know this 7000 range and i would say this is a bit of a critical zone so if we can hold this it would be good so you can see right here you know this level is similar to this level so holding the 7000 uh, range is going to be important for pepe you know if we break below this i still think it's going to be okay in the short term because you have to also factor in this is also going to be a long-term journey in crypto so remember in crypto there's lots of different strategies you can do so you can do short-term trading you know trying to trade bullish and bearish momentum you know going long and short in the crypto market but there's also strategies such as the classic you know buy and hold strategy so if you're still a buyer and holder of this crypto you know i think pepe is looking good right now and having said that i do think the next real big you know bullish upside for pepe for 2024 2025 guys it will come down to these factors where we do see a breakout in the bitcoin price so at the moment we are experiencing suppression in the crypto market so we're getting suppressed by the bitcoin and this is by the bitcoin price this is flowing down to pretty much all your altcoins right now so it's not just pepe it's going to be every single crypto in your portfolio again unless it's an outlier in the crypto market within the last 24 hours so that is the big suppressor if we do check out some you know exciting memes for pepe you know i feel like the community is still very strong for this crypto i still think there's a lot of optimism and i am still believer that once we do get a bullish uptick in the bitcoin price you know pepe will definitely be i think it's going to be one of the best uh, you know performing meme coins in the market so we've already seen pepe break away in the crypto market from being you know in the hundreds you know a few months ago to basically being a top 40 crypto and i do think once we go bullish on uh bitcoin it's going to be very very exciting for pepe other specific catalysts for pepe we need to watch out for is coinbase as well so we don't know exactly when that listing is going to happen but we have seen you know futures happen for coinbase it would make a lot of sense once bitcoin goes very 
bullish for Coinbase to also list Pepe over on Coinbase as well. Get a slice of those trading fees. And again, it's going to come down to those, you know, core meme coin dynamics for this crypto. So we're talking about community growth over on X. We're talking about getting more holders into the project, more followers. And again, there's plenty of potential for this crypto to grow. So if you follow it just over on X, you can see 643,000 followers. If we check out some other big ones, you know, you can see SHIB right here with 3.9 million followers. And uh, this stuff is all within the control of Pepe. So remember in crypto, there's going to be two factors that are going to impact your crypto prices, generally speaking. So they're going to be you know, external factors, and we're talking about like, you know, Bitcoin, we're talking about macro economy factors, they're going to be the ones you cannot really control much uh, in life at all. And then there's going to be these internal factors for Pepe, you know, and these can morph into uh, catalysts as well. And this is going to come down to, you know, memes, this is going to come down to X growth, this is going to come down to, you know, bullish community engagement, you know, building out that community, potentially doing more exciting things, morphing some utility. And uh, I do th am a believer, you know, cryptos that can, you know, master the internal dynamics of the project. They're the ones, you know, I'm extra bullish on as well. So we're going to see what Pepe does. Over the long term, I feel the community is very strong for this crypto right now. And I still think it will be a very good crypto for the 2024, 2025 bull run. So at the moment, you know, we're trading roughly 3 billion, 2 billion in market cap. It's a big crypto. But having said that, you guys know when the bull run really hits, it definitely could be a crypto that goes to 20, 30, 40, 50 billion over the long term. So again, I would consider Pepe a long term crypto. And having said that, though, if you are interested, you know, trading Pepe around in the long term or the short term, you can pick up some nice bonuses exclusive for you guys who are followers of this channel. We got we got one over on Fairdesk. We can get up to $100,000 based off trading volume. And there's also CoinW. So if you want to join that one, you can do that one as well. You get actually a free deposit bonus. I think at the moment they're giving away some nice deposit bonuses for CoinW. But you can check them out in the description of this video. And also, in addition to Pepe updates, we are checking out a ton of new crypto projects as well. So I am always a believer it's good to learn about cryptos as early as you can because some of them will explode so pepe is a crypto you guys know it did explode the factors the stars aligned for this crypto it has become a monster but there's definitely going to be more projects in the future coming out as well so we're going to be checking them out right here on the channel subscribe to the notification bell if you want to be learning about those projects super early and uh, just remember the whole crypto market does come with you know levels of reward and risk as well so that goes across the board bitcoin your high utility altcoins all the way down to your you know your fun high reward high risk meme coins as well in the crypto market so always factor that in when you're checking out the crypto market but guys that is a huge update for pepe for today if you guys enjoy these updates we're talking pepe subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment section below really appreciate you guys tuning in hope you guys have a good weekend i'll see you guys in the next video crypto zeus signing out